Alright, Shalom, first and foremost. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakak Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Um Yeah, man, I just basically came on um on the YouTube on my tablet here, man. And um <clears throat> occasionally what I do from time to time is I type in UFO sightings. I don't do it all the time, it's just when the spirit wills and um, seeing as the uh the spirit's been harping in uh homing in on the chariots spoken of in the scriptures, um I just thought, you know, let me just type in UFO UFO sightings. And um what you can do on YouTube if you didn't know Arkham, what you can do is if you type in UFO sightings to get the latest videos of or the, the most recent uploads, what you can do is you can click, click this little tab here with these little arrows and that. Or they seem they look like arrows. But I'm gonna zoom in on that there. You can click that. And then it will bring up this uh box here. And you can go to sort by. And another drop down box will come down and you can sort by relevance or view count or upload date or rating. So my preference would be upload date just to see what latest because I wanted to know what's the latest uh UFO sightings that I've typed in on the search bar. Um what the latest uh videos would come up. So I did that. So let me just show you. I'm just gonna do it again. Click that box, click upload date, and you click apply. When you click apply, what you end up finding is um <laughs> so I was just scrolling down, yep, scrolling down, scrolling down. Oh, what do I see? I see GMS. I see GMS Awakening 144 GA. Okay. It says for one for what if some did not believe in UFOs in brackets, man. Alright. So I keep scrolling down, I keep scrolling down. You know? And what do I see? Hey man, I see Elder Ramar over here in London, the captain, you know, and his video is there. GMS UK, the end is nigh. Alright? 16 hours ago. The upload dates. And this is what I'm saying, because you put in uh when you clicked on that box, this is upload date. It's the latest uploads that you can actually see come up on your feed. Now you don't even have to worry about the ones that come up old, the ones that were posted like 10 years ago. Because it might be old videos that you just don't want to see again. But you just want to see the latest uploads. And this is what comes up. So four hours ago, 15 hour, fifteen minutes ago was the uh, was the uh, the, the last upload. Uh, according to the title that I just typed in, UFO sightings. The upload dates. Um, four hours ago, four hours ago. GMS, there you go. Then you go 16 hours ago. There's a captain there. You know, Elder Ramar. Then you keep going. You keep going, you keep going. Oh, GMS Vegas sit-downs. One day ago. Alright? And I'm pretty sure that, you know, oh, there you go, GMS. <laughs> Great Waters, Great Waters 3. Alright? And this is what I'm saying, man. Like, bro, this word, this is why Esau wants to shut us down. Because... We we all over the we all over the net, man. We are all over the net, man. All right, hey, and that's prophecy, man. And this is what we're supposed to be doing, man. Don't think that your word is the scripture says the Lord, Lord the Lord's word ain't gonna go out void, man. The Lord is gonna have His word hit who it needs to hit. All right, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about the views. Fuck the views, man. All right, brothers' videos are getting uploaded. Brothers' videos are getting clicked on, played on. All right, they're getting seen. All right, I click it. You know. See? You know? And then so, you know, if someone clicks on that video in particular, they might go, oh, who is this? They might click on, you know, the elders' channel. Next thing you know, they click on his videos. They stumble across the, the word, the truth, everything that the uh, the elders been putting up. You know? The sheep of Yahweh Shai shall shine, even the name of the Lord. They're going to come across the name of the Lord. So the Lord, hey, look, man, the Lord is actually guiding through the Spirit, this, this word, the videos that are put up by GMS are getting to who they need to get to, man. We don't need to worry. That's why the scripture says prophesy into the wind. All right, there you go. There's the elder right there, you know. That's why, hey, hey man, prophesy into the wind, man. Our videos are uploaded. Our videos are out there. And that's why there's going to be a famine of the words. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some scriptures. You know, pull up the blue letter Bible. Um, And this is all prophecy, man, because, um, <laughs> hey, we at the end, man. You see... Uh, you know, the, the tensions rising with uh, Donald Trump and uh, America, Russia. World War Three is just around the corner. Okay? It's all prophecy. 
Matthew 24 and 14, it says, and this gospel, in fact, let me highlight it so you brothers. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right. And that's a perfect example right there. This word is being preached throughout all the, all the world and the end is going to come. The Lord said that this was going to happen. And it's written in red. That's the words of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. We're supposed to be prophesying about them chariots, man. The Lord's going to come with his armies. Let's get that. Okay, first, let's get Revelation 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Right? Every eye shall see him. Everyone's going to see Yahweh Shai, man. Because when he comes with them clouds, he's coming with them clouds, and with them, them clouds are them so-called UFOs, man. Which really are the vehicles of our salvation, man. Lord willing, we be of the elect that are going to get beamed up to meet the Lord in the air. It tells you that in 1 Thessalonians, the 4th chapter and the 16th verse, man. Alright? The clouds are talking about them so-called UFOs. The chariots. The, whirl, uh, the whirlwind. The wheel within a wheel. The uh, flying roll. Alright? All of these things are talking about the chariots of Israel, man. Don't let nobody tell you that they ain't the chariots, man. Alright? Let them be accursed, man. Okay, it says all and all the and eat though and they also which pierced him and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him even so a man. So look, man, there's gonna be a lot of fucking men's hearts failing them for fear. People gonna have heart attacks when they see a chariot of just hovering over their head, man. Like you had that guy. Oh gosh, these aliens! Aliens are coming to Earth! Oh god, they invaded the Earth! The guy that was all screaming, bugging out, man. You know. Talking about call the police, shoot y'all need to be shooting that. But what are you gonna do against a chariot, man? How you gonna shoot a chariot out of the sky, man? You know? You ain't dealing with Esau's RAF fighters, mate. You ain't dealing with you ain't dealing with the boys. You know what I mean? You ain't dealing with the RAF. You ain't dealing with the military, mate. You're dealing with some some next force that you don't even know what you're dealing with, man. Okay? Revelation 19 is one of my favorite scriptures of late, man. Okay, um, I'm going to start from 11. It says, and, he and I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. That's another description or a parabolic description of the, of the so-called UFOs. Horse, and horse represents power. And that's how the Lord's coming. He's coming on that white horse, man. All right, the so-called UFO. Pure power. Remember, he told Esau, he said, I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. That's in Isaiah 43. And as he sat up, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Okay, stay with me. Revelation 19 and 11. And his eyes were of a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. But he himself. His eyes are as a flame of fire. And his head many crowns. Symboling all the nations that he's going to take down, man. And he had a... And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen and white and clean. And that's talking about them angels, man. All right. How do we know? Let's get Psalm 68. <clears throat> Psalm 68 and 17. It says, The chariots. Of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is among them. As in Sinai in the holy place. So the Lord is going to be among them angels when he comes back to gather his elect. Yahweh Shai is actually coming back to gather his elect, brothers. We're in a, look man, we're in a, a, a sick time to be, this is, a, this is a beautiful time to be alive, man. Now's not the time to be holding your head down. Or, oh, fuck this, man. Nah, bro. Prophesy. Teach this word, man. You see the brothers You see the brothers teaching, man. You see how the word's flying out there, man. Look at this, man. UFO sightings. You got GMS all over the shop. This is a beautiful time to be pushing this word, man. Hey, we are in the right thing. This is the truth, brothers, man. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place to be. The Lord could have had you bugged up reading the book, Egyptian Book of the Dead with a pina colada on a beach somewhere, man. And your feet up, getting yourself, getting your tan on, man. But no, man, we're, we're getting, you know, we're getting down and dirty, man. We're, 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 we're laboring for our crown, man. 
You know? Much is given, much is required. <laughs> hey man, let me get um get a couple more precepts on the chariots, man. Alright? Cause we gotta push this vibration out there, man. You know? Psalms chapter 104, verse verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chariots in the water of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire? So what you gotta understand is them clouds, them chariots, hey man, that's them so called UFOs. And the angels are among them, man. Alright? Another word for a chariot or a so called UFO is a cloud. Like I already told you, man. Like the scripture told you. Okay? Let's get last one. Let's get 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. It says, For the Lord Yahweh Shai himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of Yahweh, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. And that's going to be a beautiful time. And in that moment, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we're going to be changed. And the Lord is going to descend and he's going to gather, gather his elect. Let's get that. All right. The Lord is coming to gather his elect, man. Matthew 24, 31. And he shall send his angels. With the great sound of the trumpet. There goes that trumpet again. And they shall gather his elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other. Alright. And that's, a, that's what we got to believe. Hey man. The scriptures speak about faith. People talk about. Oh you believe in this book. But we believe it through faith. Look at the prophecies that are coming together through this book. How could you not believe in a book of prophecy man? How could you not believe in the promises? How could you not believe in the good news? The gospel. Hey, but if the gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, right? Does not the scripture say that? Alright? Hey, man, I want to be beamed up on them chariots, man. The scriptures speak about giving diligence to make your calling and election sure, man. And these diligent brothers that are doing this right here, uploading their videos, man. You know, elders and so forth, uploading their videos, you know. It's being seen, man. The word is going out. The word is going out, man. So we got to continue, hey, look man, we a body man, so you can't just see, get a hand, you know, leave it to a handful of men doing all the labour work, we got to be putting it up man. The so called UFOs are known as the chariots or vehicles of our salvation man, the chariots of Israel man, alright, the so called UFOs man, which really to us they're IFOs man, and we ain't dismayed that the heathens are dismayed at the signs of heaven man, it tells you that in Jeremiah 10 and 2, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them man, we ain't dismayed, because we know man, you know, we always knew, on a plantation, swing low sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me home, a band of angels coming for me, coming forth to carry me home man, and these chariots, that's where it's at man, so with that man, I'ma say shalom.